happy new year hope you guys all had a great holiday season my closet is open so no one needs to see the death that is in there all right closet is closed no monsters coming out of there but today we will be doing a full face of makeup under ten dollars like each product is under ten dollars i don't think the products are necessarily drug store but they are under ten dollars so that's what matters because we have to be bougie on a budget so I'm gonna try to be successful at this. Haven't really planned the look. Just gonna think about it and hope for the best. So we're just gonna open the makeup drawer and get right into it. So if you guys wanna see how this ends up, not sure, just keep watching. Wish me luck, set in prayers. So step one, we're already running into an issue because I usually use my BB cream if you watch my videos, but I think this is like $13. So step one, I'm already breaking the rules here. Okay. But I have two other, cause I don't really like, I'm not really a super foundation person. So I don't really have that many options. I bought this ColourPop one, but it doesn't match my skin. Like, I feel like the website lied to me. There's too many shades to choose from. This is supposed to be light. Where though? Okay. Then I have this e.l.f. one. It's a little dusty. And I haven't used this in a while and it's winter time. So I think when I bought this, it was summer and I was fake tanning. I think we're, we're gonna see. We're the e.l.f. one first. This is sand. Sure, I'm pretty sandy, I guess. Start with that and see how bad this looks. And if it looks like shit, I may have to cheat already. I'm very sorry to be a disappointment. So, um, okay. I haven't applied full coverage foundation in so long, so I'm a little, nervous right now. That's okay though. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, you know, it could be worse. No, it could actually be worse. Okay. It's okay. Okay. It's blending in quite nicely, okay? We're gonna... I feel like my beauty blender is just like picking up product and that's why it's blending so nicely. But that's okay. Because I remember this bad boy being pretty full coverage. So... Yeah, looks good. Okay. Success, if you ask me. Next thing concealer using the color pop no filter concealer this one I had good luck with the shading kind of now that I have a little bit of a darker oh, darker foundation on this does not look right but it's fine it's gonna be fine you guys it's gonna be fine I also just waxed my eyebrows so I get like a lot of blemishes from the waxing shit but you know I gotta be fleeking, so I just got so much sight in my actual eyebrow. I'm flustered. This video is making me very nervous. It's okay, we'll we'll fix that later. It's okay. Got a chin blemish, got a blemish over here. Oh my god. I've had these for so for so long, they just won't leave. It's like not even a pimple anymore, it's just a discoloration, but it's very annoying. 
Do you ever just get tired of blending? You're just kind of over it? I have such a big forehead. I've been blending for 15,000 years. Okay. I'm not very organized. That's okay. Blend this shit out, baby. Oh, girl. Blend it. I actually do sing a lot. Most of the time I do my makeup, I'm listening to music. So this is kind of weird. I feel very lonely. I normally have like Drake accompany, accompanying me. But he ain't here today. So I'll just have to sing to myself. That's fine. Do that stop cringe. Okay. You know what translucent powder to use? We're just gonna use the ColourPop one because it's happening here. Just ColourPop, no filter. Translucent setting spray. So sometimes I use the e.l.f. one, but I accidentally bought the wrong cleanser and it has I'm gonna tell you when I'm not making noise but I bought the wrong cleanser and it had a oh wow it had a fragrance to it and my skin is so sensitive that it can't with fragrances or like mm -mm, no and I, I realized and I still used it because I was like, you know, it's okay. It's gonna be fine. It says it's gentle. I have trust issues now because of that. It was not gentle, let me tell you that. So it like burned my skin pretty much and now my skin is very dry and damaged. Um, so just like right here when I would moisturize or like try to take off my makeup or even like blending my foundation in, burnt like a mother god. Like I thought my skin was being lit on fire, but the whole reason I'm telling you this is because since my skin is so dry, I guess that e.l.f. translucent powder that I normally use, it makes my skin like flake with those dry flakes for some reason because it's like super matte the color pop is not doing that so i don't want to look like a crusty bitch basically so we're just we're gonna go with the color pop it's good still within the price range if it wasn't i'd risk my skin for this video so okay so we're just gonna dust off all that i just put on my face we love a matte queen baby okay feel like that Okay, what's next? <gasps> Frick, contour. <gasps> so if you watch my other videos, you know, my go-to is the Hula bronzer. I have used that for probably a year now, every single day. Frick, that's like the only thing. I'm looking like my two options are this crusty ass NYX stick. That's supposed to be a highlighter. What? Is not even like bronzy. Or this. So we're going, I, we're gonna go with this. I haven't done it with this stick in so long. This is gonna look so bad. I'm so sorry. Okay, just gonna clean that off. Oh shit! You just need to serenade myself, and also. 
serenade myself and maybe I will feel better. Okay, why will this not blink? Okay. Really gotta just, mm. Like, oh my God, it's like spreading. Lord help me. Okay. It's definitely not even, but that's fine, I guess. I have different dimension cheekbones over here. She's heard before. I don't want to be you. I don't want to be you. I don't want to be you anymore. Okay, I've calmed myself down. Okay, so you kind of actually can't see it anymore. So we're gonna just go in with some bronzer, I guess. Sure, why not? Gonna go in with this ColourPop bronzer. And we're just gonna try to make some, some cheekbones here. Oh, yikeruskies, my forehead is still pretty bronzy, but we're just we're just adding more to it, I guess. Alright, Chloe, that's fine. Highlighter. Color pop is my shit. Um, which if you watch my videos, you should already know that. If you don't know that, that means you don't watch my videos and that's it. This is in Flexitarian. All right. Oh, girl. She glowing. Okay. Then we're gonna go back in with that bronzer and blend this ish out. Hopefully, make my face look better too. So I'm just gonna skirt yawn in closer. So let's um go in. All of these shades are going to be from ColourPop. I made this palette, but you can buy them individually for like $3, so. Still in, in the mix here. So I think I'm gonna start off with this shade here. Don't know these colors, but we will. We'll link them, don't worry. So we're just gonna start them in the crease. I love this color. More of like a transitioning color and build it's very buildable though that's one thing I really like about it so all right all right all right okay I'm scared honestly I don't know how this is gonna look I feel like it's not gonna look good that's okay though okay going in with this poppin orange here that's I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just gonna go over that other shade I feel like they complement each other nicely ColourPop because it is so inexpensive and the shades are popping honestly so that's just that. Okay, I'm gonna take a more concentrated brush here and go in with this olive green. And but just in the crease and obviously blend, trying to blend it out into the other two shades, but I don't know if that's gonna happen to each. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back in with the orange and kind of just brush over that so that everything blends nicely, hopefully. It's more like up here than anything. Just so that there's not just like some random line of orange and yellow so next we are gonna take this sparkly ish shade right here and I, I don't think I've ever used that shade actually so 
we'll see how this looks. I'm actually just going to apply it with my finger. Um, hopefully that will pick up the most pigmentation. I don't know why I haven't used this yet. Okay, okay, okay. Using the e.l.f. eyeliner. I love this eyeliner, so. This isn't even just for the video, I just love this eyeliner. So we're just gonna whip it real good, real quickly here. Baiting. Should I, I don't know why I'm asking this because there's no one else here with me, but should I fill in my eyebrows? Because I never fill in my eyebrows, but I think it will just make the video more interesting because I haven't filled in my eyebrows in probably like two years. So I think that'd be kind of fun. Like see how bad this is. All right, well, I'm talking to myself, so that's fun. I think I have some eyebrow stuff in here. And it's by NYX, so you know that shit was cheap. Okay. It looks a little... Well, the expiration date on here is six months. But we're gonna use it anyway. Did you guys know that that little jar thing means the expiration? They want it to be pointier. I'm really having a push in here to put pick up any product. But that's good because then I won't accidentally do them too dark and look like an insane person. too boxy for me. Okay, it's fine. It's already done. The deed is done. Okay, well, I don't really know how I feel about these eyebrows. And I already cut -ed them out. Cut it? Who's English? I already cut them out with the concealer. So I feel like that step has already happened, so I can't just like go back and redo it. Okay, we're just gonna go in with that brush that I used. And It's okay. Wow. I can't stop looking at them. This is making me severely uncomfortable. Oh my god, why can't I speak uncomfortable? Oh, I forgot to do my under eyes. Oh. Am I so dumb? Why are you so stupid? I'm just gonna take that green, um, non-shimmery one and just, just like that. Now I'm gonna put on my falsies and I'm gonna do that off camera because if not, you're just gonna be watching me for like minutes. Actually gotten better at the falsies situation, but I think on camera, it takes me so much, so much longer because I'm stressed that I'm on camera. But, sorry about it. I don't know why I feel the need to be so aggressive all the time. Okay. okay. Is that all? Oh, lips. What color? Looks like we're gonna use this peachy nude looks good to me and this essence I almost said eyeliner 
lip liner because it's cheap. Oh, also, I'm going to apply some chapstick because I hate putting matte. Ooh, ooh this is a fresh one. Oh, yes, queen. This smells so good. I don't think I've ever used this chapstick, like this, this chapstick at all, like in my life. Not this chapstick, but this like brand and flavor. Shook. All right. I just had a little heart attack because my camera like stopped recording and I thought I didn't record any of the last 45 minutes of this. It did though, don't worry. Wow, you don't know fear until that happens. That was a super sloppy job. Okay. Elfie? I didn't use this in a hot minute. Go shoddy, go shoddy. All right, so this challenge has been completed and I feel like I was pretty successful in it. So thank you for watching and going on this journey with me. But actually all these products that I've used, I really love. So if you are trying to get a super fun look without spending all the big bucks, which is understandable, that's how I am pretty much, I get that. So any of these products I used in here, I totally recommend and love them. So. It was just fun making a whole look out of them. But yes, so thanks again. Hope to see you next time. Like and subscribe and follow my social medias. And I'm gonna go to better lighting and show you the final look as always. Bye.